Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on Cisco IOS commands every network engineer must know, part number one. So in this video, we are going to focus on on few of those Cisco commands which uh, which I think are very useful and they are very tricky. And uh, according to me, that you know every network engineer who who are whoever are the subscribers of Network Engineer Stuff should know this command so the very first command is show archive config differences so uh let's let let's go and execute this command so this command is show archive config differences so this command guys basically shows us the difference between uh, a running configuration and the startup configuration now here you see here that no changes were found Okay, so there is no difference between uh, the running configuration and the startup configuration. That is a reason, uh, you know, no changes were found as the output. Now, let's do some changes and then we will check the output. So, I'll go in the config T. Let's say I configure interface loop back uh, 27 IP address 27. IP address 27.27.27.27.255.255.255.255 okay so I've made these changes now whatever changes I've made these changes are in the running configuration and not in the startup configuration okay so now we will execute that command I'll use the up arrow show archive config differences Okay, now guys, you can see here, this is the config difference. What we have configured this particular loopback interface. Uh, we configured loopback 27 and the IP address to that loopback. So this basically, this command is useful whenever you have to find out that whether my startup configuration and running configuration have some differences or not, whether they are, uh, they are same or not. Okay, so if I want, if I, if, if I find, you know, I've made some configuration, and it is in the running configuration but not saved in the startup configuration i'll use this command simple command wr which will basically copy the running configuration to the startup configuration now at this point the startup configuration running configuration both are same now we will again use this up arrow and we'll execute this command show archive config differences now we'll see there is no changes were found so there is no difference between the startup configuration and the a running configuration okay let's move to the second and the most interesting i'll say um, the command so this is ip access list resequence so guys you know many times what happens that uh, you might have seen if you have worked in um, in any of the uh, real and world environment you've seen you know there's some access list now this this command is guys related to access list so i'll just show you show ip access list uh, enter okay so guys here you can see here that we have an access list named text of. now in this access list there are multiple entries uh, the number here okay is basically the sequence number of that entry so the very first entry have a sequence number of 5 uh, the second entry have a sequence number of 10 20 and 21 okay so if you see this 5 and 21 this is a, because of this sequence number, uh, this particular access list is not uniform. Okay, so if you want to make this access list uniform access list, we can do this by using this command. I'll go into global configuration mode. The command will be IP access list resequence. Okay, the name of the access list text stuff. Okay, so this is starting sequence number. Now I want that this to be uniform and uh, uh, the starting sequence number should be 10. Then step to increment the sequence number. Then the sequence number, like I want the first sequence number to be 10. Then the second sequence number I want to be 20. The third to be 30. So the interval between, uh, the increment between the sequence number I want to be 10. So again, I'll type 
10. Now we will check. Give that up arrow. Show IP access list. Okay. Now you can see, guys, the first entry have the sequence number of 10, then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. So, guys, this is how you can you can make your access list uniform. This is very useful uh, if you wanted to uh, insert some uh, uh, some entry in between. Let's say if you enter some entry in between 10 and 20. And then again, you want to make make the make that access list entries uniform. You can use this command. This is very 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 useful command. Let's move to the third command, allies command. So allies command, guys, this is a, again a very useful command, and uh, this command basically saves a lot of time. So how it saves the time, I'll show you. So show IP in brief. This is a command. I wanted to create an allies for this command. Let's say. Um, if I type Amar, okay, then the output should get displayed for this command. I can do so. How? So go in config t allies. Now this is an uh, execution command. So execution followed by the allies keyword. So the allies keyword I want is Amar, and the actual line. Actual line is show ip int brief okay so now if i give the command amar we'll find the output of show ip and brief so guys this is a very very useful command i'll say and i've seen that people who are uh, at um, you know l3 people or uh, l2 people uh, senior l2 people they use these commands a lot whenever they are uh, uh, you know they, they create such kind of allies because you know uh, this 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 command is very, very useful when you have uh, when you have to check some uh, pre checks or post checks and you have limited amount of time and you want it to be wanted to save some time so you can you can use this command a lot okay let's move to the fourth command this is show processes cpu sorted pipe exclude 0.0.0, .0. Now, uh, this command basically shows us uh, that what are the processes which are currently running and uh, which process is taking what percentage percentage of the CPU. And of course, we are using this uh, pipe exclude 0 .0, uh, 0.00. So what it will do it, it will exclude uh, the output with the value 0 .0 .0. .0. Because we don't want to, uh, we, are, we are not interested in these processes which have, uh, which, which are utilizing zero percentage. Okay. So this, this command is very useful guys. When, whenever uh, you are facing some, or you are troubleshooting some issues like packet loss or performance related issues. So I'll execute this command. I'll show you how the output looks. So the command is show, show. Processes CPU sorted pipe exclude 0 0.00. Okay, so these are the processes okay which are currently utilizing some some percentage. These are the uh, process IDs, the runtime, and the other details. And this this is the utilization in last five seconds, one minute, and five minutes. And these are the name of the processes. So, guys, this is very useful command as I told. Whenever you are troubleshooting or debugging something, or where you want to uh, solve performance-related issues, mostly performance-related issues where you see packet drops, such kind of stuff. Or this is the command which is also used as a part of uh, pre-checkups. Uh, before starting the activity or post whenever you load a new device uh, that time also this command is been used now let's move to the fifth command maybe the last command uh, in this video uh, in this part one it is write network 
So write network command is used to take backup of running configuration of the device on the TFTP server. Now in most of companies guys we do have TFTP servers and we do take ba regular backups of our of our uh, devices on those TFTP servers. So this command write memory sorry write network this command will help us to take that backup of the running configuration on the TFTP server. So currently I don't have any TFTP server but still I'll show you how the command works. A write network enter. Now it is telling us address or name of the remote host. So this is basically the address or the IP address you can say of the TFTP server. So let's say I have a TFTP server 100.100.100.100 which I don't have actually now. So again now after enter it is asking for destination file name. So the default file name is r1 config. So that, that that's fine. Now it is asking for a confirmation. If I press confirm, it will start taking the backup of running configuration backup onto the TFTP server 100.100.100.100. So guys, these are the few commands, five commands. I have a lot of commands, different commands. And of course, I'll come up with different uh, uh, parts uh, in this in this particular uh, videos. Uh, because I I think that you know the motivation basically guys of this of making such video is is to is to make network engineers aware uh, of of such cool commands um, which are very useful whenever they are performing their day to day activities. So guys, I'll stop here in this video. I'll come up with part number two, which is going to be more interesting than this. So so stay connected. I'll catch up in the next video till then bye thanks and have a nice day thank you